In this video, we're going to look at a monopsony and derive an expression for its marginal cost of production. Important, this video does not derive the marginal factor cost or the marginal cost of labor. We're going to derive an expression for the marginal cost of production for a monopsony. So we're going to start with variable cost equaling the wage times the variable input, labor, and just in shorthand. And note here, L is going to be a function of the firm's output. More output means the firm needs more workers to produce that output. And W is going to be a function of the number of workers, L. The monopsony faces an upward sloping labor supply curve, so the firm must pay a higher wage to attract more workers. So we're going to start by totally differentiating this expression. So we have the change in variable cost equals units of labor times the change in the wage plus the wage times the change in labor. And if we divide both sides by dq, we get the following expression. One thing to note is that the marginal product of labor is a derivative of the production function with respect to labor. So dl over dq here is going to be 1 over the marginal product. So we're going to make a couple substitutions. So we're going to make a substitution in for dl dq by putting in 1 divided by the marginal product and then recognizing that the left-hand side is nothing more than the marginal cost of production. The change in variable cost over the change in output or the derivative of the variable cost with respect to output. So making those substitutions, we have the following. And so a few things to note. For a wage taker, that is, we have a competitive labor market. This derivative here, the derivative of wages with respect to output is zero. The firm can hire as many workers as it desires at the going market wage, so the wage doesn't change by producing more output and hiring more workers. So in that case, the marginal cost for a competitive uh, for a firm operating in a competitive labor market, it's simply going to be the wage divided by the marginal product of labor. So, for example, if the marginal product of labor is 2 and the wage is 100, the cost of producing that next unit of output is going to be $50, 100 divided by 2. So, for a monopsony, we have this added component here. And for monopsony, the, the sign of this derivative here, the derivative of uh, the wage equation with respect to output, is going to be greater than zero. To produce more output, the firm uses more labor and moves up its upward sloping labor supply curve, causing the wage to rise. So this L times this derivative captures the effect that the wage increases for all, or for all workers when the firm expands output. All right, that's it. I'll stop here.